Hello, and thank you for joining us today. I'm Dr. Tim Laurent. I have the privilege of serving as Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. I'm delighted to welcome you today to this very special virtual ceremony. Honors Convocation is an important annual event that provides the opportunity to personally recognize and celebrate the outstanding achievements of our graduating students. Students, we thank you for your contributions to the university and the community. Your accomplishments reflect excellence in the classroom and commitment to Mount Mercy's mission and values. We look forward to your continued success. I now invite Father Tony to give a blessing. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his gift. Our loving Father, there is healing in gratitude. So even in our different and difficult moment this year, we choose to praise you. We choose to bless your holy name for all that you have done for us, for all that you have done for our graduating student. As we come together and celebrate your love for us and celebrate the joy of the success granted them, we pray that you continue to bless them and bless their families and renew them every day. As they go forth in sharing their talent with the world, may your protection be with them, may your grace be with them. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father Tony. Our faculty and staff will now present a variety of honors to our students. Compassionate and respectful service is a hallmark of Hilaire Chambe's life. As a refugee from the Congo and through his commitment to the local refugee community, he has responded wholeheartedly to the critical concern of immigration. His dedication and involvement to the community while pursuing a social work degree are particularly notable. Justice-oriented and practical best describe him. For example, Hilaire organized a group to provide transportation and other services to newly arrived refugees. This assisted in acclimating them to a new homeland and adapting to a new culture. He coordinated sessions to teach male refugees behavior skills in dealing with law enforcement. In doing so, he provided their safety. Currently, Hilaire is an AmeriCorps volunteer with refugee services at Catherine McCauley Center. I am privileged and pleased to present the 2020 Sisters of Mercy Award to Hilaire Chambe. The Sister Mary Immaculata Business Service Award is given to the outstanding graduating senior in the business department that displayed academic excellence in the classroom and compassionate service for our community. Annie was a joy to have in the classroom and as an active student on and off campus. She will graduate with high academic honors on Sunday with degrees in accounting, finance, and management, while also making progress to obtain her MBA from Mount Mercy University. Furthermore, she used what she learned in the classroom to become one of the highest regarded interns at Collins Aerospace, which landed her an opportunity to continue full-time with the company in their finance and accounting rotation. Beyond that, she used her business acumen and skills as a leader on our Enactus team. She participated in a project to repurpose sandbags in the 2016 flood. She led efforts to help African refugees establish a longer-term business model, and then led the team this year as president. We know that she will continue to take the lessons learned here on the Hill to lead a courageous life in our community. Annie, thank you, and please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Sister Mary Immaculata Business Service Award, Annie Ertz. I'm Dave Klo, Associate Professor in the Communication Program. The Sister Mary Agnes Hennessy Award is given by the Communication Program to every senior or to each senior that demonstrates excellence in their studies in and out of the classroom. This year's award is given to Taylor Peterson. In class, she has demonstrated two things. One, extreme thoroughness <laughs> uh, to the frustration and admiration of her professors because she often will write twice as much as her fellow classmates. But commitment to quality because this material is always thorough, insightful, well-researched. 
And she takes these qualities outside of the classroom to, for instance, her work with the Mount Mercy Times in different roles, especially helping the Mount Mercy Times navigate through these completely uncharted waters. The Hennessy Award is given because of excellence in the past, but also promise for the future. And we are excited to find out about Taylor's next steps and look forward to where she goes in the future. Now for our Sister Mary Edward Award. Annually, this award is given by the nursing faculty to the graduating senior who has best demonstrated academic ability, professional integrity, and the spirit of nursing. The award, named after Sister Mary Edward McConaughey, who not only led a distinguished nursing career, including being among the first nurses in the nation to obtain a PhD, but also started in 1933, the Mercy Hospital School of Nursing, located in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Today, Mercy Medical Center continues as a strong and dedicated clinical education partner for our university. This year, the nursing faculty of the college have selected James Burke, a December 2019 BSN graduate whose hometown is Downers Grove, Illinois. He is the recipient of the Sister Mary Edwards Award due to his abilities in the areas that we mentioned. James, the faculty and I commend you for outstanding academic and clinical practice achievements and wish you an enduring, excellent career in your neonatal nursing practice at St. Luke's Medical Center in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Congratulations. I'm Chris DeVault from Mount Mercy's English program. Today, I have the pleasure of announcing this year's recipient of the Sister Mary Ildefonse Award. This award was named after the first president of Mount Mercy and a longtime teacher of English. It's given annually to the graduating senior who has demonstrated excellence and proficiency in analyzing and writing about language and literature. This year's recipient of the Sister Mary Ildefons Award is Haley Weideman. Haley is from Center Point, Iowa, and is graduating with a major in English and minors in creative writing and diversity studies. During her time at Mount Mercy, Haley served as an editor for the Paha Review, Mount Mercy's student-run literary magazine for the last two years, and she also is the director of fundraising for Dance Marathon. Upon graduating, Haley will be attending Iowa State University to pursue her master's degree in English. We in the English program are incredibly proud of everything that Haley has accomplished, and we're excited to see her lead the next generation of English professors and scholars in the future. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Sister Mary Ildefonse Award, Haley Weideman. Every year, our art and design program recognizes and awards a graduating senior that goes above and beyond their senior thesis re requirement. This year, the award goes to Matthew Trubla. Matt has shown his talent, energy, wit, intellectual thoughts, and creativity in every media our program has thrown in. And trust me, that's a very rare thing to do as a graphic design major. As a student, Matt has also led the charge in researching and bringing together groups on campus to contribute in writing a proposal for a university multimedia lab that will be open to all students on campus. I'm happy to say the proposal was approved. Once we get past this COVID-19 crisis, the work towards building that lab will continue. Thank you, Matt, for your work that you've started and that will serve future students and future multimedia students as well. It has been a great pleasure and joy to see you grow as a graphic designer, videographer, and artist, Matt. Thank you for your contribution and all you bring. I will miss you and your improv wit. It was something always I looked forward to and always made me laugh. Please stay in touch, and perhaps after we get past all of this, we can sit down somewhere and have a beer. Congratulations, Matt. And if there's anything you need and anything I can help you with, let me know. Take care. I'm Rachel Murtaugh, your Director of Sustainability at Mount Mercy, and I am pleased to announce Ethan Weary as the winner of the Sister Mary Roberta Linus Award. Ethan transferred to Mount Mercy University, and in the two years he was here, has shown a level of commitment and compassion that is not often seen. If you needed help, Ethan was first to volunteer. 
He gives 100% even when he doesn't have 100% left to give. He puts others before himself and even in his career ambitions, he is thinking of how he can put his education and ingenuity to the good of the community. I'm extremely proud to have had the opportunity to get to know him and he is going to do great things in the years to come. Congratulations, Ethan. I'm Chris DeVault from Mount Mercy's English program. Today, I have the pleasure of announcing this year's recipient of the Sister Mary Xavier Award. This award was named for Mount Mercy's first dean and a longtime member of the English program. It is given annually to the graduating senior who has demonstrated exceptional ability in creative writing. This year's recipient of the Sister Mary Xavier Award is Jessica Purgett. Jessica is originally from Marshfield, Wisconsin, and is graduating with majors in English and Marketing and minors in Creative Writing and Spanish. Throughout her four years at Mount Mercy, Jessica has really been synonymous with the Mount Mercy Creative Writing Program. Not only has her wonderful work been published multiple times in the Paha Review, Mount Mercy's student-run literary magazine, but she's also been an editor of Paha all four years that she's been at Mount Mercy. She even started her own literary review while she was at Mount Mercy, called the Mark Literary Review which has been producing exceptional work since it began two years ago. It has truly been a privilege to be able to work with Jessica for the past four years, and we in the Mount Mercy English program are excited to see what the future holds for her. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Sister Mary Xavier Award, Jessica Perkett. I would like to congratulate this year's recipient of the Sister Rosalind Koss Education Award. The 2020 recipient will be Mrs. Michelle Mershbrook. Throughout Michelle's time at Mount Mercy, she has demonstrated a great concern for service to the common good. She is committed to advocacy and intervention in early childhood that provides every student equal access to the important medical and mental health care necessary to achieve their fullest potential. It has been a pleasure working with Michelle throughout her program, and I know that she is going to make a huge difference in the lives of the children she serves. Congratulations, Michelle. The 2020 Outstanding Accounting Student Award is being presented to Matt Pelzer. Matt is, simply put, a model student. He is completing a triple major with majors in accounting, finance, and management. He has a near perfect GPA and has also received the prestigious 2019 Risk Management Association Scholarship. Matt completed five different internships, providing him with a wealth of valuable experience. He plans to tackle the CPA exam this summer and has secured employment after graduation with the CPA firm Terry Lockridge & Dunn in Iowa City. Matt is extremely talented and is a perfect role model, reflecting the type of student we are proud to recognize as a graduate of MMU. Congratulations, Matt. I wanna say congratulations to Irina Henry. She's our outstanding student in computer science this year. Irina has been an amazing student, writes great code, has an incredible work ethic, and has a really bright future ahead of her. It's been a pleasure to have. Congratulations, Irina, you've done a great job. Hello, I'm Deb Bryden, and I'm an associate professor with Mount Mercy's Criminal Justice Program. It's my pleasure to award this year's Outstanding Criminal Justice Student Award to Madeline Irwin. During her years at Mount Mercy, Madeline has been an exemplary student majoring in both psychology and criminal justice. She was named a member of the Psychology Honor Society, Psy Chi. Not only did she excel academically, but she helped other students succeed by working as a peer mentor in our Academic Center for Excellence. As a pitcher for the Mustang softball team, Madeline was picked as a member of the All Honors Team and was named an NAIA Dectronic Scholar Athlete. Her peer athletes also selected her as the Leadership Director for the Council of Student Athletes. Last fall, Madeline did an amazing job interning with the Lynn County Juvenile Court and Probation. She was eager to learn, participated in everything that she could, and eventually was even given her own caseload of juveniles to oversee. Today, she tells us that she has found her calling to work with juveniles through the court and probation systems. Congratulations, Madeline. My name is Ayman Amr. 
I teach economics for Mount Mercy University at the business program as well as the MBA. I'm here today to present our economics award for this year 2020 to Connor Christopherson. Connor graduates with double major in management and marketing as well as a minor in economics. His GPA is 3.78. Connor was a very accomplished student at Mount Mercy and we expect him to do really well in his, in his career. Connor has been a leader in the athletic department. He has been the captain of the track and field team uh, during that term at uh, the track and field, uh, his team accomplished three university records during his four-year career. In the student government, as a student leader, he was elected the vice president of the SGA, as well as the director of uh, re the director of uh, public relations as well as an ambassador and he was actually the president of the junior and senior class at Mount Mercy University. He conducted a lot of jobs uh, during his uh, career at Mount Mercy University. Connor worked with in the office of admissions as well as in student engagement and academic integrity and Connor has completed his internship inside and outside of Mount Mercy University. Connor has been a very busy student and a very accomplished one. We are very proud of our graduates, but we are especially very proud of Connor Christopherson and we expect him to be a very active member of any community and job and career that he will be a part of. Congratulations. Connor. Thank you. My name is Rob Rittenhouse and I'm the coordinator of the finance major. As such, it is my privilege to announce that the winner of this year's finance award is Max Rieger. Due to time limitations, I cannot state all of the reasons that Max was chosen for this. What I can tell you is that Max is a finance minor who has excelled in the classroom. More importantly, he has of his own volition tutored numerous students in my financial management courses. He has done this without compensation and he has never sought any recognition for those efforts. Additionally, he has helped construct entire academic schedules for students choosing to major in finance. He's been a huge asset to me personally, as well as to the finance program and to the university in general. I know that Max has all of the tools as well as the values to be successful in his future endeavors. I am proud of him and I will be forever grateful for the impact he has had on our finance program and on Mount Mercy University. Congratulations, Max. Hello, my name is Tracy Tunwall and I'm the business department chair for Mount Mercy University and also the coordinator for the human resource management major. It is my pleasure today to be able to announce the outstanding human resource management student award, which is going to go to Tyler Follett. I had the pleasure of working with Tyler both in the Students and Human Resource Management Club and as a student during his time at Mount Mercy University. So I'm very pleased to be able to offer this very well-deserved reward to Tyler. Tyler has participated in many ways throughout his time at Mount Mercy and has also completed three internships uh, while he was studying as a student, maintaining a very high GPA as well as being a triple major in human resource management, marketing, and management. So some of the um, leadership and service awards uh, that Tyler has achieved at Mount Mercy. He worked in several areas in the Office of Admissions, but also as student ambassador and vice president for membership and vice president for development. Uh, was a member of the National Society of Leadership and Success and the Society Events Chair. He was orientation leader, also the director of recruitment for Dance Marathon, served the Mount Mercy Student Government Cabinet as coordinator of clubs, served the Mount Mercy Council for Student Athletics, and also was a member of the Mount Mercy University Homecoming Court, in addition to participating in collegiate athletics uh, through bowling. 
Tyler also participated in a number of internships. He worked as a human resource management intern at Worley Warehousing, also as marketing and communications intern at St. Wenceslas Catholic Church, in addition to serving as marketing and communications intern at Mount Mercy University. So we are very, very pleased and honored to offer you this award, Tyler, and we wish you the best of luck. To be an effective journalist, a person must be able to figure out what is the news in a set of facts, and also communicate the story to an audience. In her many roles and years of work at Mount Mercy and at the Mount Mercy Times, Madeline Norton has shown these attributes. She planned an extensive feature story about women who coach men's teams in Iowa, and it was a front page feature in the sports section of the May 24, 2018 Cedar Rapids Gazette. She wrote about the opening of the Plaster Athletic Complex in the front page of the Mount Mercy Times. She wrote a memorable opinion column after one of those tragic school shootings. As a woman who grew up at an Iowa farm, Madeline wrote that even a person from a rural gun culture could understand the need for action to prevent such tragedies. Therefore, I'm proud to recognize Madeline Orton as the outstanding student journalist in the class of 2020 at Mount Mercy University. The Business Department's Outstanding Marketing Student Award is giving to a phenomenal graduating senior in the Department of Business that studied marketing. This year's award recipient studied marketing and graphic design where she excelled in the classroom to earn high marks during her four years on the Hill. Beyond her focus on academic excellence, she found opportunities to take what she learned in the classroom and support marketing efforts both on and off campus. During her time as an intern at United Way of East Central Iowa, one of her teammates commented that Vanessa is an outstanding student who positively impacted United Way on social media and marketing materials. The creative energy she brought to her internship was innovative and we truly appreciate all her work. Furthermore, she was the vice president for marketing with the university's Enactus team, creating many logos for her local businesses, team projects, and took the lead as designer for the annual report. These efforts helped to lead the team to a sweet 16 finish during her time with the team, thanks to her diligence and creativity. Please join me in congratulating Vanessa Cortez, this year's recipient of the 2020 Outstanding Marketing Student Award. I just want to say congratulations to Josh Jurgensmeyer. He's our outstanding student in mathematics this year. We don't always give this award out, but Josh has certainly earned it with a depth of insight, excellent proof writing, and understanding in general. He's been a great student to have it and will be have a really bright future ahead of him. So congratulations, Josh, you've done a great job. I'm Alicia Rishka, biology professor, and it is my privilege to award the Outstanding Natural Sciences Student Award to Sam Kitterman this year. Sam is an outstanding student. She is a biology major with a minor in sports, health, and exercise psychology. Uh, she recently completed an internship with Mercy Medical Center and at the same time forged new relationships with Mariah Cook, a physical therapist who works at Mercy Care Home Therapy. She helped Mariah collect data and analyze a currently used falls risk assessment tool to determine if it was good for predicting falls by the elderly. Her research was uh, presented at the Mount Mercy Scholarship Festival during April 2019. Sam has always known she wanted to be a physical therapist and I'm happy to report that she will be attending the Doctor of Physical Therapy program at Des Moines University this fall. Congratulations, Sam. This year's award for excellence in political science goes to a student who sometimes appears to do little. While well, she is often silent during class discussions, before class, in reflection papers, she regularly articulated her thoughts on texts by Plato, Machiavelli, Arendt, and others, thus causing her professor to think more and ask better questions in class. The formal essays she turned in frequently demonstrated such excellent writing that I found myself posting them online so that, for Maggie's classmates, they could light the way to better writing. And while she doesn't push her political views in class, she supported others in political causes by meeting with campus leaders, including our president, to discuss her concerns. And off campus, she has worked to support multiple political campaigns. For those interested in hearing her speak, you'll have your chance at this year's convocation. Therefore, we recognize Maggie Peterson as this year's outstanding student in political science, like Mount Mercy's founders. While outwardly, she sometimes appears
appears to do little. She quietly does much to enrich our classes and our country. Maggie, we wish you the best as you go forth with the spirit of a little prince to tame foxes and to light lamps around the world. My name is Kent Miller, and I serve as the coordinator of the management program at Mount Mercy. It is my honor today to present the Dale Harrison Outstanding Management Student Award to Jessica Ertz. Jessica has been an outstanding student. She's done well in her classes throughout her collegiate career, but she's also taken the opportunity to do, to do more than that. She's been a terrific student athlete. She's played an important part of our very successful Enactus program. And she's taken advantage of the opportunities to meet with industry leaders, guest speakers, and generally anyone else where she could learn more about a career path, where she could ask questions, or where, where she could lead discussions. Jessica's goal-oriented, she's motivated, and, th and these traits have, have helped her to be a very successful student at Mount Mercy. Thank you, Jessica, for all, your, all of your hard work here at Mount Mercy, and best of luck in the future. I'm sure we'll hear great things. Good afternoon, my name is Joni Howland and I teach in the social work program. Today I'm delighted to present the Ann K. Stenzel Social Work Award to Karina Hutchison. Each year the award is given to the graduating senior who demonstrates an extraordinary commitment to service and professional qualities that will contribute to social work practice and social justice. Karina fulfills both requirements as seen through her service to the community and performance in two social work field practicum placements. Through her career at Mount Mercy University, she contributed many hours as a community volunteer. Examples include her role on a HACAP advisory committee and hours working in the HACAP food pantry. While completing her foundation field placement at the Foundation Two independent living program. She worked with youth aging out of foster care and as a result worked in human trafficking intervention. Her, she continued her work in human trafficking intervention through her advanced field practicum placement with the Rape Victim Advocacy Program in Iowa City. In both placement settings, Karina revealed professional insight, compassion, and exemplary helping skills. Her work with people who are vulnerable will continue as she and her family move to Texas, where she plans on working full-time in social work for one year prior to starting graduate school. Everyone in the social work program appreciate the contributions Karina made to our major, and we wish her the best. Congratulations, Karina. Hello everyone, I'm Jacqueline Sullivan, Assistant Professor of Psychology and Program Coordinator for Psychology at Mount Mercy University. The Christine L. Woodruff Psychology Award was established to honor an outstanding graduating senior majoring in psychology. The recipient of the award is selected on the basis of four criteria. One, excellence in classroom performance. Two, scholarship demonstrated beyond the classroom in the form of research writing, or conference presentations. Three, application of psychology in the form of campus leadership, field study, or work experience. And four, a commitment to a career in psychology or a related field. I'm so pleased to announce that Maggie Peterson is the award winner for the Woodruff Award this year. Maggie is truly a scholar. What she brings to her academics is curiosity, passion, independence, and the ability to think critically about questions with no right or wrong answer. She's what I would personally consider a model Mount Mercy student. Even more incredible than her stellar work in our classrooms is Maggie's passion for social change. In the classroom, I've seen this passion ignite conversations around structural inequalities. I've also had the privilege of getting to know Maggie outside of the classroom in her work with the Alliance Club. It should be of no surprise to anyone who knows her that Maggie willingly stepped into a role where social justice and human rights were the focus and inspired growth in not only her colleagues uh, and fellow students, but myself. Maggie has truly taken advantage of all Mount Mercy has to offer, and we are proud to say that her intellectual skills and unmitigated passion for doing and being more has led her to acceptance into the Peace Corps and eventually to pursuing graduate work. Although her plans may be on hold for now, we know that Maggie will make an immeasurable impact on the world. 
It's the psychology program's greatest pleasure to present the 2020 Christine L. Woodruff Psychology Award to Margaret Peterson. Congratulations, Maggie. Hi, I'm Taylor O'Neill, Assistant Professor of Religious Studies. And on behalf of the Philosophy and Religious Studies Department, I am very happy to award Casey Kyman the Sister Sienna Religious Studies Award. Casey has um, done a very great job in her coursework uh, in the religious studies major. She's been a great peer in the classroom. Um, she's been a staple at all of the uh, departmental events that we've held over the four years. And she's also been a staple around Mount Mercy. Um, you know, she's done a lot, really poured herself into her four years here, um, created different initiatives and in, in, in groups and, and things on campus. So um, Casey's also headed off to do a master's degree in theology at Ave Maria University. And I have every reason to believe that Casey will continue in the future to make our department proud and the whole Mount Mercy University community proud. So again, well done, Casey, and good luck in your next uh, adventure. My name is Cheryl Schultz, and I'm the Adult Accelerated Program Coordinator in the Center for Adult and Graduate Education at Mount Mercy. For most of our adult accelerated and online students, they are taking classes in addition to working, parenting, and volunteering. This is commendable under normal circumstances. This year, we want to specifically recognize all of the working adults in our programs who are taking classes and graduating this spring and summer while also supporting our community during the COVID-19 outbreak. Whether they are on the front lines in healthcare, working with the public in service roles, or giving time caring for others, we can't say enough about how much we appreciate their efforts. Their dedication to their coursework during this time is astounding. As we narrowed our nominees for this award, I immediately thought of Manda Marshall. To begin with, she's an excellent student. Since fall of 2017, when she started the process of completing her associate's degree at Kirkwood, while also planning to transition to her Bachelor of Science at Mount Mercy, her grades have been outstanding. But more than that, she is creative, flexible, and upbeat. Given the nature of our Black program course offerings and the sequential nature of the Management Information Systems degree, there were times when she had to adjust her coursework or double up with challenging courses. This was on top of juggling a full-time job and family responsibilities. She handled each new curveball with grace and positivity. Manda recently started a new position as an instructional technology consultant at the University of Iowa, providing support and instruction to faculty and students using their many digital platforms. Given the changes in education during the last few months, and as we look ahead to the fall, her new role is more important than ever. We are so proud to see her putting her skills and her Mount Mercy degree in work to service to others. Please join me in honoring Manda Marshall, our Accelerated Student of the Year. The divine lives in us all, and for some, it exudes from just being, making the small things big and the big things appear effortless. Franceli Sonia Monzeo Mampasi, or just Sonia, as many have endearingly called to her across halls, on the phone in video chats at country displays across from the cafe and at events as she quietly ensures smooth execution of grand ideas. She's been an integral part of student services. She's led the International Club and is the lead international student ambassador. In addition to all of that, she's managed to be an excellent nursing student, has coordinated volunteer opportunities for her groups, hosted tables at the wellness fair for employees, and her work in total wellness for new mothers is compelling. Sonia has worked with mission and ministry, assisted with events for sustainability, and not to mention she doesn't forget birthdays and makes everyone feel they are special, and she does it with grace. It is truly my honor to present the co-curricular award to Franceli, Sonia Monzeo Mampasi, or just Sonia. Thank you for all you do. Faculty and staff, thank you for your presentations and congratulations again to our graduates. Mount Mercy offers special academic opportunities to outstanding students, seniors who have successfully completed at least two honors seminars with a grade point average of at least 3.0 and who have a minimum cumulative grade point of 3.4 qualify for graduating with distinction in the honors program. Honors students are required to participate in two interdisciplinary seminars outside their majors. 
Thus, we are recognizing not only the academic ability of the students, but their willingness to seek knowledge beyond their chosen discipline. This year, we have nine students graduating with a special distinction. Paige L. Hansen, Joshua Jurgensmeyer, Samantha Marie Kitterman, Gabriella Crines Domingos de Silva, Meredith Jean Mackey, Margaret Catherine Peterson, Jessica Rose Purgett, Maximilian Thomas Rieger, Haley Ann Weidman. Now we'll turn it over to President Heyman to recognize our Kappa Gamma Pi recipients. Kappa Gamma Pi is the National Catholic College and University Honor Society. The purpose of the society is to reward a high standard of excellence in character, scholarship, and service in college and to set an even higher standard after one's college education. Membership is limited to graduates who have earned a grade point average of at least 3.69 and are dedicated to leadership, faith, and service. We sincerely hope that this honor will strengthen your commitment to these characteristics as you depart Mount Mercy University. Nearly 40 years ago, I was honored with induction into Kappa Gamma Pi at my alma mater. I know it was the high point of honor in academics, leadership, and service in my life and students. I am so happy to share yours with you today. I am proud to honor the following students as Kappa Gamma Pi recipients. Sarah Baker, Amber Marie Hennings, Skylar Lynn Lee Hop, Casey Christopher Kamen, Marissa Marie Kilberg, Daniel Neppel, Taylor Marie Peterson, Margaret Catherine Peterson, and Kristen Uncle. Congratulations to all of our Kappa Gamma Pi recipients. Our President's Award winner for 2020 is the epitome of tenacity, dedication, and heart, always moving others forward. Max Rieger of Leipzig, Germany is our campus impact player. He took a leap of faith to come to Cedar Rapids, Iowa, not knowing what to expect. And looking back on the impact Max has had on this university, we are grateful he took the risk. Our campus and our community are better for Max's incredibly positive impact. We unfortunately don't have time to share all of the positive feedback we have received from students and employees across campus on Max's impact. But here are a few quotes that show how Max, in the true spirit of mercy, helped others overcome their own struggles and reach their full potential. Rob Rittenhouse wrote, the President's Award is about having a strong academic record and beyond his own extremely impressive record of stellar GPA, triple majors, and research projects, Max has helped numerous students in our financial management courses. Max personally spent hours of his own time each week to help students who were struggling with difficult concepts of financial management. He did this of his own volition, with no compensation. And on top of that, he would help students who were changing their major to finance by working up a complete academic plan. I often told him that he should be paid for all of the work he did for the benefit of Mount Mercy students. Finally, Max led a team of students for the CFA Investment Research Challenge, sponsored by the Chartered Financial Analyst Institute, a very challenging and time-consuming project. He and the team did an excellent job on that challenge. Max's impact has gone beyond the academic arena as well. Max's soccer coach, Amir Hajek, wrote, engagement within the campus community is another component of the President's Award, and Max saved the best for his senior year. After spending four years on the varsity men's soccer squad, Max has been an amazing volunteer assistant coach to his classmates. He is a role model RA and work-study student, both in athletics and on our marketing office. And his role and leadership during these challenging times, with the coronavirus taking away everything that seems normal, is second to none. Max spending end endless hours helping fellow students, making videos and material for virtual tours and prospective students' virtual visit days, and simply being there for anyone in need. Max's supervisor, Jamie Jones, concurred. Max is a leader in every sense of the word and wise beyond his years. He consistently displays professionalism, maturity, resourcefulness, critical thinking, and a willingness to learn and improve. I've witnessed him navigate difficult situations and conversations with grace and tact, which is not always easy even for experienced professionals. Max is truly one of the best students I've worked with during my career, and he will leave a lasting legacy at Mount Mercy and beyond. 
This year's President's Award recipient is Max Rieger, whose impact on fellow students has helped them overcome barriers and instilled in others in the community the ultimate in academic excellence, compassion, and courage. Max's heart, diligence, and dedication have made Mount Mercy University a better, more humane, and more compassionate place. Congratulations, Max, on Mount Mercy University's President's Award for 2020. As I reflect on Sister Joanna Reagan's description of Catherine McCauley's life, I believe it's relevant to what our Mount Mercy graduates are called to do. Connect the rich with the poor, the healthy with the sick, the educated and the skilled to the uninstructed, the influential to those of no consequence, the powerful to the weak, to do the work of God on earth. Catherine's example can serve as your model. Your mission in life now is to use your great skills and talents, coupled with your capacity for analysis, critical thinking, and reflective judgment to build a courageous life that serves the common good. We honor you today for your accomplishments and we challenge you to continue to give back, striving to make the world and your university a better place. Congratulations and thank you.